Hi Photonic and the guys and girls. Today we'll be looking at Mercury Arc rectifiers. The two you see here are just the bulbs. The complete units will consist of other components like transformers and inductance coils. This one is for single phase operation with two anodes. The exciter anode and the starter anodes are common for both. However, as the single phase has two anodes, the three phase has three anodes. For six phase, the secondaries of the three phase transformers are arranged to be 180 degrees apart. There is a pool of mercury at the bottom which forms the cathode, and it also creates an ionised gas allowing the current to flow from anode to cathode. The current can only flow in one direction, and that forms the basis of its operation. If alternating current is applied to an anode, the current will flow in the positive half of the cycle. By feeding two anodes 50 Hz, the anodes will conduct alternately and you will get DC with a 100 Hz ripple. With three phase the ripple will be 150 Hz and six phase will be 300 Hz. So the more phases, the smoother the DC will be. The emission of electrons is from an incandescent hotspot. It can be seen here moving over the mercury surface. This unit was a battery charger, so therefore runs at a lower current than the ones you've seen before. Here we can get an overview of the complete system. This one has no exciter, instead relying on a handle for the operator to start it. The AC supply is fed through this transformer, which is then tapped for various voltages. It then passes through the bulb, with the positive being produced at the cathode and the negative coming from the neutral on the transformer. The resulting DC is then fed through the inductance coil to smooth the current flow. On the front we have readouts for volts and amps, controls for starting, taps for varying the voltage, AC in and DC out. And that whole machine now has been replaced by one of these. From the late 19th century, rotary converters were also used for rectifying AC to DC. The two here are very small compared to the units on, say, the New York subway, but the principle is the same in that it is essentially an AC motor driving a DC dynamo. You can see the disadvantages of this immediately in that you have a mechanical moving part that wears out and needs maintaining. Well, I hope you found that interesting. And remember, if you like this crap, subscribe to our channel.